Dr. Andrew Siegel, urologist from the New York metropolitan area, giving an educational video on bladder catheters. Bladder catheters. The intended audience is my patient population. However, if anybody out there in cyberspace desires some more information on bladder catheters, please feel free. What are bladder catheters? They are hollow straws intended to drain the urinary bladder. They are placed for a variety of different reasons. One reason is for acute urinary retention, a condition in which one cannot urinate. It causes usually painful distension of the urinary bladder and requires a trip to the emergency room for a placement of a catheter to drain the bladder. This might happen under circumstances of a male with prostate enlargement or scar tissue in the urethra. It can happen with a female who has a very large cystocele, that is a drop bladder, or a patient with a neurological issue such as an acute herniated disc, or many other conditions. Additionally, catheters are very useful after urological surgery for putting the lower urinary tract at rest. This is typical in urethral surgery, in prostate surgery, and bladder surgery. And the catheter might be needed for a day, a week, or sometimes even more. Some people, in fact, need to have a catheter on a permanent basis, changed every month, if they cannot urinate and cannot manage to learn alternative means of bladder drainage. Catheters are also very useful for medical patients, for example, one who has congestive heart failure and needs a catheter placed to monitor their urine output. Additionally, they are used for non-urological surgery, such as laparoscopic abdominal procedures to protect the bladder, or any procedure that is uh, very prolonged and will require accurate uh, measurement of urine output. Let's examine what a catheter is. Once again, a hollow straw. They come in a variety of calibers. What they have in common is that they're hollow. They have a, an opening at the end to allow drainage, and they have a port for connecting to a drainage bag. So if you end up in the emergency room in your re retention, a catheter like this might be placed using sterile technique, pass through the urethra, beyond the neck of the bladder, into the bladder, and then the balloon port of the catheter is inflated with a syringe filled with fluid. For illustrative purposes, I'm just going to use air. So after the catheter is placed, it's in proper position, it's draining, the balloon is inflated as such, and this will keep the catheter in place so it can't be pulled out. Under rare circumstances, a patient does manage to pull this out with the balloon inflated, and it can wreak havoc on the prostate and the urethra. So this is connected to the drainage bag, and the patient can walk around with this and go about life. These can be somewhat annoying, although the discomfort of acute urinary retention uh, that gets relieved uh, certainly outweighs any uh, short-term annoyance from the catheter. The catheter can cause a few side effects. Sometimes it can irritate the lining of the bladder causing a little bit of bleeding and it only takes a few blood cells to make the urine look very red. So if this is the case, step down your activities, rest and relax, and step up the drinking to dilute the urine. Additionally, the presence of the catheter and the balloon in the urinary bladder can irritate the lining of the bladder and induce urinary urgency, the sensation of having to urinate without the bladder being actually full. Another possible common side effect is the fact that the catheter and the balloon can irritate the bladder to the extent that it can induce the bladder to have a contraction, as if you are urinating. This is called an involuntary bladder contraction, and when it occurs, it feels like one is urinating and it can actually cause leakage of urine around the catheter. Ben Franklin did not invent the catheter. However, because of his brother who had bladder stones, he modified the existing cath catheter uh, and created the first flexible catheter. 
So that's the bottom line. Simple device, very useful in an emergency situation. I couldn't possibly finish an educational video without a short plug for my book, Promiscuous Eating, Understanding, and Ending Our Self-Destructive Relationship with Food. Good for anybody who wants to lose a few pounds, stay in good shape, or get some more insights into why we eat. Right now, my Amazon rank, as of this moment, is 41,686 in the health, fitness, and dieting section. So, I can certainly do a lot better. If you are interested in more information on many subjects in urology, including catheters, as well as more information about the book, please go to my website, www.bergenurological.com.